Okay, this is how I set up my Woodland Mills bandsaw blade sharpener. First thing I do is get the blade on there. I look for the weld, as the teeth won't be evenly spaced at the weld, like they are everywhere else. So you want to start sharpening to the right of the weld. And I mark the weld with a W, just so I can see it a little bit better for reference. And then you got to go eight teeth back for your shut off that goes on the blade from the weld. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put that on. Make sure it lines up with your switches. The switches are on the back side right here. Make sure this piece lines up with the switches. I put tape on mine because it was just a metal edge and you got to rub a boot on your switch. And I figured over time that metal edge would cut into that boot. So I just put a little bit of duct tape on there and that will hit the switches off. And when I get started, I bring the blade back a little bit. I put the drive mechanism in place and I turn it on. I bring the grind unit down, set the stem piece Set the stem that sets the height of your grinding wheel in its index spot. I do not turn on the grinding wheel. I just turn on the drive. It just touches the tooth. It just touches the tooth. It just touches the tooth and I give it, I'll do this, I'm going to take this off, I'll do this till I get past the weld, <coughs> I'll go a few teeth past the weld to make sure I'm still just hitting the tooth just lightly. The reason why I do this is because if I had the grinding wheel on, and it was taking material off the tooth and I kept adjusting the pusher, all those teeth would have a different measurement between them. So when I finally set it to the distance where I want it to be, it would miss certain teeth. So in the future when I go to shop in my blade again, all right, we're going past the weld, it's way off. Now I'm just past the weld, just touching the tooth. And I'll check a few teeth, make sure it's still good. Just touching. But like I was saying, if, if you adjust this in and out as it's going, you're making a bunch of teeth in a row with a different set or setting distance from tip to tip. And then when you finally get it adjusted, let's say 20 teeth back, then all those teeth will be the same. And then the teeth from the weld to where you got it adjusted will all be slightly different. And if you start from the weld every time, every time you adjust your blade, you're adjusting in teeth that will all randomly ground. And then you'll go further and further and you just keep messing up your teeth. So I run a test without it spinning. And just make sure I'm hitting lightly, and if I'm not, I'll make the adjustment now. Just touching. I'm gonna let it go and see how we get further on down the line.
All right, so I'm feeling pretty confident with the way it's set now. I shut it off. Bring it forward so I can lift this up and rewind the blade. Turn the grinding wheel on, turn the driver on. Just hit that little speck. But now we're right on track. We'll see how it hits here. Not bad. I think this way works better adjusting your teeth. That's perfect. That's just the way I want it. Taking just enough off. You also want to make sure you don't have accumulated sawdust in these gullets so you get a more accurate, accurate drive into the sharpening stone. I got my, my grindstone set at 7 degrees. Alright, so this is how I set this up. right behind the number eight tooth. That way when I get to my weld, it will automatically shut it off. I got my battery charger on my battery. While it's running, is that a good or a bad idea? Let me know in the comments. I haven't had any issues. This place is all finishing up. All right, I got all those bandsaw blades sharpened up. And I got this pile of logs right here. That's what I want to tackle this winter. If they don't freeze up too much. And I can saw them efficiently. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I got a bunch of poplar. I got a couple of spruce left here. I think only one of them's good. Those two smaller ones. They're probably... Not good saw logs. But then I'm going to get into some red oak. I got some red oak down here, and up top, the big one, and small piece of white oak, a bunch of poplar over there that I'm looking forward to sawing. I'm gonna use up those blades, and then I got this hickory. This is the, the newest the newest logs I have, so I might wait on these. Um, these here are been here for a little while. I wanna get them all sawn up before they go too far by. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.